In this lesson, we are going to talk about the mobile phone handset. So by the end of the lesson, the candidate should be able to recall a simplified block diagram of a mobile phone handset and understand the function of each block. So remember, the objective of the lesson is to recall the simplified block diagram of a mobile phone handset and to understand the function of each block. Now over here, we have such a block. We are going to discuss the function of each one of them. But it's important to realize from the very start that a mobile phone handset serves as both a radio transmitter and a receiver. On this section, we are going to consider the mobile phone handset being used as a transmitter and on this other side, we are going to consider the same mobile phone handset being used as a receiver. Let's start with the mobile phone handset being used as a transmitter. And we start with the microphone. The caller speaks into the microphone. The microphone produces an analog voltage of the sound wave, which is then amplified by the audio frequency amplifier. So sound wave, which is con converted into a voltage, and this one is an analog signal, and then that analog signal is amplified by this audio frequency amplifier. At the next stage, the analog voltage is converted into a digital signal using the analog to digital converter. That is what the ADC stands for, so you should be able to name this block as analog to digital converter. Next, the parallel to series converter takes the whole of each digital number from the ADC and emits it as a series of bits. At the next stage, the frequency of the oscillator is allocated by the computer at the cellular exchange. So remember for us to carry this information signal, we need a carrier frequency. This carrier frequency is allocated by the computer at the cellular exchange. At this point, we carry out the, the process of modulation. We have already looked at what modulation means. So the carrier wave frequency is modulated by the series of bits from the parallel to series converter. That is the function of this block. So the first thing is that you should be able to name this block and state its function. At the next point, the modulated carrier wave is amplified by this amplifier here so that it is taken to the area where it is transmitted as a radio wave. So remember at this point, we produce sound waves which is converted into a voltage which changes the same way as the information signal and that is why it is an analog signal and then we take it through an audio frequency amplifier and then convert that analog signal into a digital signal after which the signal is modulated amplified and then transmitted now let's look at the mobile phone handset as a receiver for this other section here the area receives or converts electromagnetic wave into an electrical signal. So any signal received at the area is switched to a tuning circuit, which acts by the principle of resonance. Now, you should be able to name this block as a tuning circuit, and then state the function of this block. The circuit at this point selects only the carrier wave frequency that has been allocated to the handset by the computer at the cellular exchange. So it is like a sieve. It sieves out all the other frequencies and it just selects that carrier wave frequency which is allocated to it by the computer at the cellular exchange. Now remember this signal is a radio wave signal. That is why at the next point we have the radio frequency amplifier. The function of the radio frequency amplifier is to amplify this signal here because it is very weak. We make it stronger. So the selected signal is amplified by the radio frequency 
amplifier. Remember the signal that we are having here is a digital signal. And before we move to this point here, notice these two amplifiers here. They are different. This is a radio frequency amplifier and this is an audio frequency amplifier. They are different. The radio frequency amplifier is used to amplify radio waves while the audio frequency amplifier is used to amplify audio frequencies from the microphone. So at this point here, at the demodulator, at the demodulator, this is the point where we have the information signal being separated from the carrier frequency. So we say that it is demodulated so that the information signal is in digital form. So we have gotten rid of the carrier wave. Now we have the information signal in digital form. At the next stage here, the series to parallel converter enables each sampled digital voltage to be separated and these digital numbers are then converted into an analog waveform in the digital to analog converter. That is the meaning of the DAC digital to analog converter. So you should be able to name this block as digital to analog converter. In fact, it is the very opposite of this. So this block here converts a digital signal into an analog signal so that finally the analog signal is amplified before it is taken to the loudspeaker. So that is the function of the AF amplifier at this point. It is to amplify the analog signal and then feed it to the loudspeaker. Remember the mobile phone handset serves as both a transmitter and a receiver. You should be able to name each block as well as state its function.